Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 1611, 1611. I'm your friend, I'm your friend. Mike Matthews here at Cafe Anyway. Oh, wow, look at me. I got six hours sleep, which is actually pretty good for a lot of people, but for me, it's me. And it is an early 540 in the morning when I'm talking to you now. Mike's Daily Podcast. And it's interesting when I talked to you yesterday, I couldn't see my sound effects, but today I can see them and there they are. I'm going to click one. Mike's Daily Podcast. I went to a place in Castro Valley with a friend and we... Eight and eight, it did not ever end. Actually, it did because we got full, and it was like, oh my god, we ate so much, and it was great. It was at that Castro Valley Public Market. Now I've walked in there, Mike's Daily Podcast, and then walked out because I didn't know what to get. But yesterday I had a friend with me, and she's like, this sounds Mike's like fun daily. It's got lots of Podcast. Asian food, yeah, Asian-inspired food, Korean barbecue, poke, poke, and pokey, and or is it the, the that's the animal, uh, the horse from Gumby Show? And then there's the wonderful, what was that? Other? Oh, ramen. Ramen. I was not. I was not impressed with the ramen. I have to tell you, I had much better ramen at Eon Coffee across the street from Chabot College in Hayward. But they only do that on the weekends. So, so look, walked in. Hi, my. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? Has <laughs> nothing. Uh, it's the disgruntled fiddle. I tell you what. What? Now you just gotta give me a steak. Cause I like steak and other beef products. And somebody else walked in. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh boy. Have some now. Right now. There you go. I'm having some and pushing it away slightly. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. You enliven the place here at Cafe Anyway. Hey. Let's see what I got. And here's today's podcast picture. Oh, now the last podcast picture had the wonderful Basil the Boxer in it. (laughs) And Basil's got a huge fan in someone named Meg. And Meg posted on the Facebook, Basil is looking so handsome, but she used the symbol for Basil as the names are the same. (laughs) And so... She is someone that I met at Half Moon Bay. Gosh, this was back in October. And Basil and I were out there, and it was a beautiful day. The sun was setting, and there's this lady standing there. And she goes, uh, oh, I'm visiting. I'm I'm here on business, and I got to catch a flight back to Philadelphia tonight. So I thought I'd go over here to the beach. And, oh, your dog is so nice, and Basil was running around. And then Basil peed on her. Just out of the blue, peed on her leg. It was mortifying. But she said, that's okay. I'm going to fly back to Philadelphia with Basil pee on my leg. With that, a friendship was forged. And she, well, she got onto Facebook and she's... Like, hey, Basil looks great. And so this picture yesterday was from Basil at the Monterey. Monterey at a beach called Del Monte Beach. And it is a little bit east of Cannery Row. And it's just a nice beach. And this was actually taken in February. And it was a hot day in February. People are walking around in bikinis and all kinds of swimsuit wear. Zoopy, zoopy, zoop. Looking so fresh on the Riviera. And I also posted a picture today of Basil the Boxer and I was at Fairmont Ridge a couple days ago. I think there are some people at Fairmont Ridge that listen to this show. 
Mm. Are they dead? A goose attacked a golfer. Did you see that video? It was awesome. Photo captures a, a high school golfer was attacked by a goose in Michigan competing at the Highland Meadows golf course. Oh, in Ohio. He, the golfer's from Michigan. I have to get the facts completely straight because I don't want to at any time be giving you fake news. Oh, I don't even know where that went, where he goes fake news. Huh. Well, I'll give you this one instead. Huge. You are fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Yeah, this goose just attacked this guy. Now, maybe there was a reason for it. Maybe the golfer was offensive in some way. And you know, if you get offended by things, you just need to to deal with it. But if you get offended, that's the way the cookie crumbles. No. <laughs> Thank you, one of the Smothers Brothers. A TV anchor named Mike Schumann allegedly stole a Warriors staffer's jacket. A bit ba- that's oh he's in the Bay Area. I don't know. I don't watch any TV news in the Bay Area. Sometimes it's like I'm not even living in the Bay Area. But I am, because I went to this dang Castro Valley public market and raided it with my friend and ate so much food. However, a lot of salt involved in the food. And I woke up this morning feeling, well, that my alarm didn't wake me. My dog did not wake me, as he usually does. He's my alarm. No, that thing that happens when you've had entirely too much salt the night before, that's what woke me up. I was so thirsty. (gasps) Water. I was just dying of thirst. And I'm like, oh, I have to get up. So that's how I feel today. Not Not entirely together. I feel a little unraveled. But that's all right. We'll get through the show. What? A nomination has been threatened? Ronnie Jackson allegations threatened to upend the Veteran Affairs nomination. The Senate Veterans Affairs Committee is probing claims related to improper conduct in various stages of his career with Ronnie Jackson. He he is a rear admiral. That's such an unfortunate name. Or maybe it's a fortunate name. Not so sure, but... Donald Trump's nominee to lead the Department of Veterans Affairs. They're reviewing these allegations to determine if they are substantial enough to upend. Here we go again. Upend his nomination. Uh, why does everything today have to do with everything coming in and out of my... That was a little South Park reference. Do any of you remember that? You, uh, he shouldn't have done that. He's just a boy. South Park for you. And you get it. And one more because we're in that mood. Greatest show of all time. No, it's not. I stopped watching it a couple of years ago. That was a great. That was the first episode that aired on Comedy Central. My point being is, we talked, my friend. We talked rather late into the night. About Kate Bush Kate Bush sang a song I'm not going to play any of her music I will sing you one of her songs It goes like If I only If if I made a deal with God No If I only could I'd make a deal with God And I'd get him to Switch our places Be running up that hill Running up that building Nah I can't Maybe I should find one of her songs At any rate Kate Bush also sang with that uh, Peter Gabriel in that song Don't give up You still have friends Yeah The Kate Bush And we were playing a, Kind of reminiscing about Kate Bush And Brian Ferry I could see at the time There was no Oh now I got a, I got a Brian Ferry Mix that popped up This is his new song Where he covered A Robert Palmer song Johnny and Mary But they've got this cool little thing in. And Brian's voice is so oh. 
I love I love the uh what is it the, the chariots of fire drum behind him. So Brian Ferry's voice is becoming has always been kind of wistful as he's gotten in the early days it was love is the drug and I have some more but as he's gotten older it's become just this wisp just this little hint of a of a croon of, of a lasting little thread of new wave as it goes on and on and um, he he looks great in the video but that's a, a recent song by him actually two years old at this point where he covered the late great Robert Palmer might as well face it you're addicted to love and Robert Palmer don't forget was in power station some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on from the 80s so but Miss Megan enjoyed one of the pictures and that was very nice I also got on Twitter who wanted to put Who's Mativo? Oh, we promote digital events. I don't care. Get out. So meanwhile, in Hong Kong, a friend of mine is from there. They have a bookstore. Okay, so it's not quite as restricted there as it is in China, mainland China. Of course, they're right next to each other. But Hong Kong has... You can, uh, you can, you can, you can say things like I hate the government there, but be careful because there is a bookstore. I think it's called Causeway Books that got shut down and a guy whose last name is Lamb. I can't remember his first name, but I was listening to this on the daily from the New York Times and they just kidnapped him. The Chinese government just kidnapped him in October and he was gone for a long time. People were worried and protesting and he was in a cell being observed by two guards and he kept track of the days with a piece of thread which he tied into a knot every day to keep track of the days and then one day he's pulled out of his cell and he's brought to this beautiful plaza this beautiful house and he's sitting at a table full of food and suddenly his co-workers from this bookstore Sit down at the table with them And he's like what And they they had all been kidnapped And apparently the bookstore was being sold And he was told he could leave But he had to grab a computer When he was back at the I guess the, the bookstore had been locked up So he had to go get the computer And as he's heading back To the train station With this computer That supposedly has all the names of the people That this bookstore would sell Subversive material Would not put the Leader of China in the best of light As he's Trying to get on the train Well he suddenly has a change of mind And there's a politician A legislator that he remembers that he knows And he he gets in touch with that person He does a press conference And tells uh, the, the, the world About what happened to him And his fellow bookstore Compatriots Disagree with him They have other stories They've cut some other deal With the Chinese government So very fascinating Oh We live in free speech society Even though you have a president Yelling at you Saying that you're fake news You still can say what you want to say Let the words spill out Honestly I need to see you be brave As we go outside a cafe anyway We bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcaster Valley I need you to be a Sarah Bareilles So, all in all, it was a fun time. I'm hoarse from all the talking. I'm tired from not much sleeping. And I've got salt just riddling my system. But I hope I've woven some kind of interesting show for you today. It was fun doing. And I hopefully can take my dog on a longer walk today. Because he is not the least bit happy. What the heck, Mike? I did dem- <laughs> My friend is like Your dog is so demanding He's sitting there We're talking and he's looking at me like That was the w- You gave me like a 40 minute walk That's it God Dogs Next show it's going to be the wonderful Madame Ruta Vega Valentino and Bison Bentley Thank you so much for listening Hey I'm going to see Addendum with Kevin Kevin today 
that means something to those of you who have listened to the show often. So we'll see what interesting things take place there with him. I bet one of those things will involve beer. Mmm, beer. I wanted to end the show with someone saying, Mmm, beer. Very good. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, wait. The podcast picture is not of me at Fairmont Ridge with Basil, but Basil's in it, and so are you, Benita. Hey, that's great. What?